Amazing. Oh man, there's a young stud right there, Carter Key Boom. <laughs> All right, everybody. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> got baby on. Uh, raise your hand through the Zoom call. And we'll get going. I'm, w- I'm watching Carter on TV right now. Jesse Docker, are you watching him post? What are you, what are you watching? Carter Keeboom's on, on TV. He's on a MLB right now. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, watch him. Nice. Um, you, is there anything new with uh, Max and or Steven as of now? Max went out to, to throw right now. Um, I'll touch base with him after and see how he feels. He's, you know, he's going to be day to day. Steven Strasburg, I just talked to him. And um, – we're going to put him in rotation. He's going to pitch on Sunday. What, um, how did you make the decision? And what's, just, the, what's the latest thing he's done, too? He, he just felt good. He's been throwing. He's like, we got him ready for his start. So he's on his regular routine right now. So uh, he said he feels good. So uh, Sunday would be his day. Cool. Thank you. All right. Mark Zuckerman, massesports.com. Hey, did uh, did you guys hold Steven back in his pitches the other night? Um, I think I'm gonna think you said only was 32, and did that have anything to do with maybe trying to get him to be ready by Sunday? Yes. Um, you know, he went out there. He threw. You know, he, he went out before he threw a bullpen, heavy bullpen before he went out. Face hitters said he felt good, so we told him, to, "Hey, let's not overdo it because if you feel good, then um, your day will be Sunday." So uh, he felt fine. So he came in yesterday. Um, Today I talked to him. He says I feel good, so let's 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 go for it. And is he at this point good for like a full start, or is it something you have to watch a little more closely? I'm we're gonna watch him. I mean, I you know, um, you know, if he, if he gives us 75, 80 pitches, I think that's that'd be awesome. So, we're, but we'll keep an eye on him. Jessica Camarado, MLB.com. Hey, Davia, the other night Juan said that he was just going to keep an eye on his wrist after landing on it. How, how is that? Oh, he's good. Um, he's in a lineup today. I told him if he felt anything, let me know. Uh, he said he felt fine. And also, uh, some of the roster moves were made yesterday, cutting the roster from 30 to 28. What went into that decision? Yeah, um, yeah it, was, it was tough. You lose, losing both of them. I know Berkey is a young pitcher. Um, losing Bonifacio was a uh, – was really tough. I mean, you know, we, I felt like he fit in. Um, decision that we all had to make. Um, you know, hopefully uh, he clears waivers. We don't know yet, so um, we'll see what happens. But uh, I love the guy, man. The guy's a team player. Uh, he does everything you ask him to do. He's willing to do anything. Uh, so you know, I just wish him all the best. Brittany Droli, the Athletic. Hey, Davey. Um... With Max, did he report to have no hamstring pain? I guess is that why he's throwing? Yeah, you, I mean, you, you know, Max is Max. He's gonna, you know, he's out there today. Says he feels okay. He wants to see uh, what level he's at. So um, I'll talk to him more after he throws and see where he's at. And then how how do you get Sean Doolittle back on track? Oh, we just gotta. Uh, we gotta I have all the confidence in the world in him. I really do. I mean, um, we just gotta keep putting him out there. Um, you know, he, he threw the ball a little bit better his last outing. Uh, his velo was a little better. So we just got to pick spots to run him out there. Man. We need him. And he knows that. And, um, you know, he's doing everything he can to, to, to get ready and stay ready. So um, we just got to get, you know, we just got to put him out there and, and hope that, you know, something clicks for him um, and uh, we get him back to where he used to be. You think he's healthy, though? It's not like an injury situation? or Yeah, he hasn't. He says he feels fine. I mean, um, you know, and I, we ask him all the time. And, uh, I know sometimes we could be a little annoying, um, but we're looking out for him, you know, and, and, and his best interest. So, uh, but he wants to help us win. And like I said, you know, in, all, in order for us to pull this off, you know, we need, we need Sean Doolittle. Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. I was going to ask you about Sean also. Um, I'll, I'll take it to this next step. Do you have to think about trying to find some lower leverage spots for him? Um, at this point to try to get him back into a certain groove? Or do you feel like if there's a close game in the eighth inning and there's lefties coming up that, that he's still the guy? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I truly believe, you know, for me, it's, it's trying to match him up the best I can right now. Um, but 
like I said, I have confidence in him, you know, and, and um, this is something that, you know, hopefully it will work itself out, um, but we need him and I, I need to use him. I, you know, it's him and Freeman are the two left-handers I got, and I, you know, I, and I like Sean. I've always lo loved Sean. Uh, he was our closer. Um, so hopefully we get him, we get him back and, and he'll start pitching in the eighth and ninth fours. If he is healthy, do you feel like the, the issue, the reason the velocity is down is just a mechanical thing, and that is something that can be, you know, fixed once he figures out what that is. Yeah, we're tr we're, we're trying to really hone in on um, him using his lower half a little better, um, you know, and that's I think that's a big part of it. So he, I know he's working on it. Um, he's with Paul. He's been with uh, with Henry in the bullpen, and uh, really trying to stay over his his backside and use his lower half a little bit better. Like I said, his Vila was better his last outing. Um, now he's got to, you know, he's got to hone in on the, on the strike zone. You know, I know he wants to pitch up. You know, the first hitter, he was 0-2 last time and went to 3-2. So, um, but I like the way he threw the ball last time. Um, so we'll go from there. Todd Davis, NBC Sports Washington. Just to continue the Doolittle bombardment here, um, <laughs> this may be a stretch, but did you consider sending him to Fredericksburg at all to fully reboot him? No. I mean, like I said, um, for me, it's 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 about you know he's part of the, he's part of the core group here. Um, mm -hmm. We want him here. Um, like I said, I got all the confidence in the world in him. I know Paul does as, as well, uh, and we need him. You know, and and uh, sure. when when that little when that when that little thing clicks, you know, he's going to be fine. So like I said, we got to keep running him out there. You know, we got to find spots to put him put him in the game, and uh, but it'll, I really believe it'll click and he'll be right back to where he used to be. And what kind of Mac, what kind of throwing is Max going to do today? Do you do you know what his plan yeah, is? He just, I think he's just going to go play catch. You know, just throw okay. a flat ground. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Jesse Docker, Washington Post. Hey David, we, we talked about this a bit, but you guys have not traveled yet. You will starting Monday uh, to play New York. Um, do you have like an idea of logistics at all? Like. I assume you're taking a train, but maybe it's a bus, like, like, and how you guys will get there and whatnot. Yeah, we're going to, you know, I'm, everything's, um, we got, we got to be extra careful. So everything, uh, we got to sign seats. Um, we're going to do everything we get in our power to keep everybody safe. Um, you guys know about the new protocol from MLB. Uh, so, but we're going to do our part, do, you know, try to keep everybody as safe as possible. Uh, for me, I know I'm traveling around with a bottle of Lysol. I'm going to spray everything, wipe everything down. Um, you know, and just try to stay in my seat as much as possible and, uh, and hopefully stay safe. And you are is, – is it a charter train you guys are taking? Are you, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, like, I know you – it's circumstance that happened. But, I mean, do you feel lucky that you've been able to get your guys' feet wet in this season just solely in Washington? I mean, it's been almost, you know, five weeks now where you haven't moved at all. I mean, what, what kind of luxury has that been with everything that's going on? Oh, it's, it's been awesome to stay at, stay at home. You know, we, we knew uh, – we knew this day would come where we'd have to go, you know, travel. So um, we're going to be prepared as best we can. I, you know, I know I've, I've sat with our medical staff. Um, I sat with Rob McDonald, um, and we, we talked a lot about our logistics and how we want to travel, how we want to keep guys separated. So hopefully we came up with a good game plan. I mean, you know, like I said, for me, this whole thing is about keeping everybody safe. Howard Fenderich, Associated Press. Hey, Davey. Uh, just to go back to Strasburg for a second, is it that everything is completely gone and he feels 100% normal, or is it a matter of still needing to kind of work through some lingering stuff with that hand and that, that nerve issue? Yeah, no, his, the, the, uh, the tingling in his, in his thumb is gone. Um, so, that, you know, and that's a good sign. And we watched him, and like I said, he's throwing some really good bullpens. Uh, so, you know, that was the big – the big thing for me, nothing's, nothing in his mechanic has changed. Everything's good. So, you know, based on conversation with him, he feels good. So um, he wants to pitch. He's ready to pitch on Sunday. Thanks. Alex Chapel, Madison TV. Hey, Davey, kind of going off of what Jesse was asking you, but a little different to now have 13 days straight that you guys are playing and getting into a groove here. Do you, do you, how much do you like that? Cause it's been a, a choppy start of the season with off days and, and not playing, but now you get some consistency here. Yeah. So, you know, it's funny cause 
for me, on the schedule, we have 13 days straight. Um, we're just trying to get through the day. I mean, yeah, that's the way we, that's the way I look at it. You know, let's, let's try to focus on the day and, and uh, worry about what happens to the end and we'll go from there. Um, but it's nice. If we do make 13 days straight, it'd be awesome. I mean, um, you know, we've had, we've had enough days off, you know, we're here to play baseball. I know the guys want to play. Um, so, you know, they want to be on the field. So, let, you know, let's go out and play and have some fun. And then just want to ask you about one of your newcomers, Kyle Finnegan, but you, you mentioned it the other night. He's been fantastic. What's impressed you so far specifically about him? You know, the, the biggest thing for him is, is that, you know, we knew what kind of stuff he had. Um, his stuff's electric, you know. It's honing in on the strike zone. And he worked diligently uh, in both spring trainings, you know, to just get, get ahead and get throw strike one. Um, we, we tweaked some things with him a little bit, and it seemed to help him out. And um, it's just about confidence with him. You know, he's a young, you know, fairly young kid, um, but he's throwing the ball really well. I mean, he's, he's a guy that really excites me because he's got good velo, he's got a good, you know, good slaughter, a good changeup. So, um, you know, hopefully he continues to do what he does because, you know, we're going to need him. And you know, I put him in a pretty big situation the other day, and, and he did really well. So uh, that was good to see. Jessica Camarado, LV.com. My computer froze, so if you already answered this, just wave it off. Um, <laughs> but with with Steven slated to come back, you've been able to use Fetty in so many start and then like pseudo start situations the other day. How much has that helped just having that fifth starter battle play out the way it did? Because Eric said that he was actually preparing as if he's still being a starter instead of just like a bullpen guy. Yeah, you know, it, it's nice to have a guy like Fetty. Um, that could do multiple things. I mean, um, wasn't easy for him the other day to sit around not knowing what, what was going to happen to Max and all of a sudden go in after the first inning, get ready and, and, and plop him in there. I mean, I thought he did great, you know. Uh, but, you know, moving forward, you know, I still view him as a, a, a guy that could possibly be the fifth starter or be the spot starter if somebody else goes down. He's that guy. Um, you know, for Fetty, I tell him it's all about consistency with you, you know. Uh, and he understands that. But what I've seen so far, he's throwing the ball well. I mean, uh, the other day, and his sinker was unbelievable. He just, he just couldn't really control it. But uh, the movement on the ball was was incredible. So if we get him honed in and get him to throw strikes, I mean, he's going to help us in many ways.